Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays. Number 13, expressions as indexes. List.length minus one. We have been accessing information in an array by using numbers. But we can actually use any expression that evaluates to a number as an index in our array. The first example of this we will explore is accessing the last item in our array. Arrays are always zero indexed, which means the first index is zero. Therefore, an array with a length of three will have an index of zero, one, and two. Notice the last index is one less than the length. This will always be the case, and so we can use the expression access the last element in our array. And to do that, we use the dot length minus one. We have a do this. Starter code has been provided that creates several arrays. Use the syntax provided above in console.log to display the final item in each list. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our code. We have a array colors, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We have one numbers, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and pets, cats, dogs, fish, and birds. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a dot length minus one to see the last item in our index. Before we get started, let's run our code and see what happens. I run it, nothing's happening. Well, let's just do a console.log for colors. Let's do one for numbers. And finally, let's do one for our pets. We all know it's dogs anyway, but we'll do it just to be entertaining. What's happening right now? Right now we are under that block command here. We need to do is come out of that. In fact, all I'm going to do is just take away this comment itself. Let's hit run and see what happens. Reset run. And it looks like we get a printout of the array. What we want to do is check the last number. Well, how do we want to do that? We're going to use their syntax provided above, and that's the last element of the array. So we're going to type in here put our quotations in because we want it typed out exactly. The last element in colors is, and in this one, it's going to be, let me get rid of colors up here. So we want to print out our string. We want colors, but we want something specific in there. So we need brackets, and we're going to do colors dot length minus one. And then we gotta make sure that we go over here and look, close our parentheses. We don't need a quotation there. Close our parentheses. Don't forget your brackets as well. And your semicolon. So it should go bracket, parenthesis, semicolon. What it's going to do now is it's gonna say the last color is and it's going to go to the array colors, and it's going to do the colors dot length minus one. So it's going to look for the array, the length minus one. Let's test this out real quick and make sure that's what happens. When I hit reset run, violet should come up. And then these two numbers, because we haven't changed anything there. Reset run. Uh-oh, we have a syntax error. What's going on here? Well, I forgot to close my quotation marks here. So that was my error. Let's reset run. The last element in colors is violet. So that one is right. Let's try that again with numbers. We're gonna do quotations. The last element in numbers is, and we're gonna do plus, we want to do the numbers array, 
brackets numbers dot length. And then we need to do minus one to index to the last one, bracket, parenthesis, and your semicolon. That one should give me 100. And let's do the last one, pets here. The last element in pets is, we're gonna do plus pets, cause that's our array within the array. We want pets dot length minus one. Move this over so we can see it. Bracket parenthesis and semicolon. That looks pretty good to me. When I hit reset run, I should get violet 100 and bird. Well, let's see if that's what happens. Violet 100 and bird. That is very helpful. This can help me check my last item here. So I'm just gonna do my length minus one because the last index is one less than the total length. Looking back at my do this, we look through the starter code. We use the syntax provided and created console.log statements to display the final item in each list. Remember, because an array has a length of three, but we index zero, one, and two, three minus one is two, which gives us our second spot. Very helpful to use, and I'm sure you're gonna use this a lot moving forward. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.